It's about 11.05. I just called a cab to get over to Amoeba because it is record store day 2018. I'm gonna be in line. I'm gonna meet people. They may be in the video. I have some special guests, so they're gonna join me in the line throughout the night. Right now it's just me solo, but there will be more. After the video, of course, I will show my haul. I will document my time. Record store day 2018, let's do this. We have made it, and we are far as hell. Definitely further than last year. This is out of control, ridiculous. Can you believe we're this far back? Oh, yeah. Oh man, this is actually about where I was last year. I'm about the exact same spot. Thank you so much. Here is the sheets. I have all the sheets. And uh, I have all, I have, I, that means I get all the records. So I'm here, Tyler's here. Just met him, he was just watching my Record Store Day video before he got here. Good, smart guy. Um, it turns out we're about 60 deep. So it's about 10 more than last year and I'm here a half hour earlier than last year. It, it's gotten crazier at this point. I, I just am just surprised by it alone. Oh my God. Uh, I hope I get everything I want. I know some of this stuff is super limited, so we'll see at the end of the video, but we have hours to go before we sleep and spend a ton of money. Is that Adam with the supply drop? <laughs> Are you here for the supply drop? This is where I pick up Supreme? Yeah, this is the Supreme line, bro. Cool. Looks like we got some chairs. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Adam is here. What up? You may What's remember up? him Too from the records Rare Records up. videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's about to be in line for the long haul. Look at this pupperino. Hi, you are huge. I love you. That's a bear. I see this guy almost every record store day. Yeah. What are you looking to get, man? Me too, but I'm way back. What time did you get here to be this close to the front? 4 p.m. 4 p.m.? That's amazing. Your dedication is admirable. Love it. Dude. What about you? What I, got, you I got here at 11.30. Oh, what am I getting? Yeah. I'm not everything. I'm just gonna mark everything on the list and see what happens. <laughs> I am here with Michael. He is the first in line at Amoeba. How does that feel? Fantastic. I was here at 3.12. 312. That's, I talked to someone that's the eighth in line. They got here at four, so there must have been a really slow build. Yeah, there was. That cer there certainly was. There was probably a. You guys got here like what three? We got here at three, one o'clock. But you, you, one o'clock. We, we walked around because we didn't want to be first. Yeah, but they didn't want. Didn't right. Want first, to first is the worst. Second is the best. Yeah. I know that. Ryan. No, right. I know. Um, so what? What do you here for? You can say it because no one can steal it from you because you're the first. Yeah. The Swans LP yep. that's, uh, that's coming out. It was like Good a call. German pressing. That was uh -huh. And the um, call me weird, but the uh, last, the, the first Adam Sandler uh, no, album. No, that's cool. I know that people was that actually love that. really. It was a really good comedy album. Sleigh Bells and David Bowie. Nice. Uh, uh, Sleigh Bells, the EP that was going to be put out, and then David Bowie live in '78. I for a second thought there was a Sleigh Bells featuring David Bowie release. No, I got that's really excited. No, there's no. That will never happen. No. It's almost 3.45, and it's time for me to begin looking at the list, making my marks for the records that I want. Let's see off the top. I don't know. Ooh, got to get that MF Doom. You know how I play. It's a terrible X. It's light out. After a little nap, short nap, it is almost time for me to collect the lists. I have my own list filled out. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but there are a lot of X's on this list. <laughs> Adam's making fun of me now because we went through the list and I have 23 titles checked off. <laughs> you got a problem, man. It's unlikely I'm gonna get all of those titles. That's what I tell myself. And then when I get to the counter, I can always turn stuff down, right? I'm here with Dylan. How's Hello. it going? Hello. Good. I ran into Dylan at WonderCon. He told me he watches my videos, which was really awesome. And now we're here at Record Store Day at Amoeba. This is your first Record Store Day? Uh, no, I've done it like three times already. Three times already? Yeah. That's like almost as many times as I've done it. Yeah, <laughs> I found about it. And, and we're almost the same age, so that's crazy. What are you here to get? You got here at what? Like uh, uh, four, four in the morning. Uh, yeah, around that. I was like trying to nap around that time, so I think yeah. I saw you and I was like, hey, 
I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what is on your list? What are like the must-haves? Must-have is the Pink Floyd Piper Dickinson Dawn reissue on mono. Classic. Love that Sid Barrett. Yeah. And uh, favorite band. And yeah, favorite album of theirs is uh, Dark Side. Animals, right? Correct. That's correct. <laughs> Grateful Dead, Fillmore West, uh, San Francisco album. Nice. Uh, Tangerine Dream. Ooh, uh, Zeit. Yeah, Zeit. Yeah, it's, yeah. On, it's on that um, uh, the color. Tangerine Dream. Yeah. Uh, tangerine uh, colored vinyl. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Your taste in music, by the way, is exceptional. Keep going. Popol Vu, which is a German progressive rock. Mm -hmm. uh, band from the 70s. <laughs> totally. I hope that you get some of that stuff. Yeah. I, my fingers are crossed for you because the line's pretty long, you said. Yeah. Well, I think those items that you, you said are not super limited, so I, yeah. think you'll, I think you'll have a pretty good chance of grabbing them. Yeah. Are you going to spin them today? Yes. What's the first one you're spinning when you get back? If I buy it, the Grateful Dead one or Tangerine Dream. Nice. Yeah. Just melt into it. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, though. Good to see you. All right, I am here with Jack and Simon. All right, what are you guys here for? A lot. Pink Floyd, Piper with the Gates of Dawn and Mono. Of course. I'm here mowingly for the Chris Bell 7-inch from Big Star, passed away at 27, a great artist. Residence White Bitch Shop. Yes, his residents are great. I'm looking for the Nas Elmatic live at the Kennedy Center, because that oh, yeah. phenomenal. Ella Fitzgerald, double LP on mm -hmm. color vinyl. So much, too Beautiful. much Beautiful, how can you top that? <laughs> well, you guys should've got here earlier. I guess so. 4.30 in the morning, amateurs. Uh, you gotta actually spend the whole week here, you gotta just get like a sleeping get bag. Get here on Monday. Right. And then you spend the whole <laughs> week. Start like little five. <laughs> nice. Well, okay. nice to meet you guys, nice good luck. You. Hope you guys get everything on your list. Definitely do as well. Thank you. Pleasure. It's always nice to see familiar faces at Record Store Day. How are you? Good, man. How are you? Pleasure to see you. Good. I'm like barely staying awake right now, but yeah, I'm good. What time do you get here? 3.30. 3 3.30. Okay, that's good. More, less, a little less intense than you, I know. A little less, but yeah. still on the crazy side. Yeah. What, are you, what are you here for? Uh, Descendants, the 7-inch. Yes. The, uh, I'm on the fence about a Circle, the circle Jerks yeah. gig one. Uh -huh. uh, dwarves, 12-inch uh, single. Um, and then I'm really looking forward to the Rage Against the Machine live at the yes. Democratic now. I'm hoping to get that too. I'm hoping. There's only 350 of them, but Teenage Bottle Rocket. Yeah, I saw uh, that. Warning Device, 10th Anniversary Edition. That's that's my my white whale for today. Dude, pleasure to see you. Thanks, man. I'm still a big fan. Thank you. Appreciate it. So this is uh, pretty far back. This is probably in the couple hundreds of people. It's the back of Amoeba. But then you get around, and it still wraps around. We're at about almost eight in the morning and this is this is crazy all right we are here behind me is amoeba we're almost in this is very exciting number eight on the left all right it's time it is time to shine and here we are all right back from record store day got in line 11 30 waited all night with adam who's behind the camera right now and I gotta say it was a huge success. I was worried because I was looking at some forums when I was waiting in line and people were saying, oh no, my store didn't get as many of this and this and this and there were records that were on my list. And I was like, no, but Amoeba always pulls through. Even though I was 55th in line, I got everything on my list. First up, I got Soundgarden A-Sides. Of course, these are the greatest hits of Soundgarden, which is essential because if you like Soundgarden, you have good taste in music. Look at that, wow, this is my first impression of so many of these records. Beautiful green translucent or semi-translucent with black smoke. Love that. I think the other record might be a different color. The other one is a different color, wow. It's this beautiful green with white marble. I don't think I have records that look like this. This did the cover justice, it was beautiful. And I love how nice of a, of a thick stock this is with this gatefold of the band. Uh, all around, this was a great release. Uh, I hope it sounds as good as it looks. Another super impressive release is the Nas Illmatic Live at the Kennedy Center. This is such a beautiful jacket. Not just the, the size and thickness of it, but also the gold foil leaf on the front and the back of it. Really well done. And, oh wow, this is really cool. This gatefold of Nas performing. The colors pop so much. Uh, I think it's on colored vinyl. Let's find out. It is not, I lied. It is on black vinyl, but that is okay because they really did all the bells and whistles on this jacket, and I think this was a slam dunk. I can't, 
Can't, can't get, get it back in. in. Ooh, this insert is beautiful too. I'm super impressed. Again, everything's classy, the gold leaf. Um, is this a poster? Yeah, this is a huge poster. Even more gold leaf on the inside. This is just such a well done release. If you're a fan of Nas and especially Illmatic, his first and arguably best album, this is probably a must have. I got those Mac DeMarco Old Dog demos. I think this Old Dog might have been my favorite Mac album. It's a toss up between two and that probably. But this had such a great chilled out sound to it. And I love, I love the Japanese character aesthetic on top. I believe that's Japanese characters if I'm wrong. I apologize. Translucent yellow vinyl, which is cool. And I love, um, the minimalism of the cover. I think it's a really interesting shot of him performing. He's very happy and joyful, which tends to be him in most of his live performances if you've had the pleasure of seeing him. The Arcade Fire EP. This came out before Funeral, which was their breakout album. This was never on vinyl before. I really like the coloring of this. Very, very nice cover and back. And I'm surprised they did a gatefold for this because it's just an EP. Really well done. A lot of good art in the style of uh, this era of Arcade Fire, the Funeral era. Ooh. It's on a nice teal colored, translucent teal record. It said it was numbered. Uh, maybe there's a numbered insert because I did not see a number on the outside. Oh, that's weird. I've never seen that in any record ever. It is numbered on the bottom with gold, with gold foil uh, inside the gatefold. I've never seen that before. Interesting. Sneaky, sneaky Arcade Fire. This is one that I was really hoping to get and I'm so happy I acquired it. The National Boxer Live in Brussels. They did Boxer in full to surprise everyone when they played in Brussels recently. And I was not there, which sucked. But now I can live through it, even though I was not there. This is such a great jacket, a rainbow foil on it. Beautiful on the back too. Such a gorgeous look. A nice heavy cardstock inner sleeve and it's on clear vinyl. Clear vinyl usually sounds magnificent, so I hope the best for this audio quality. I'm probably gonna spin this first. I picked up the Sufjan Stevens' Mystery of Love, the three songs from the Call Me By Your Name soundtrack that he did. It's two original songs and then a Feudal Devices remix. Uh, it's Sufjan, I had to buy it. I got a very low number too. I think there's 10,000 of these and I got number 223, really cool. Also I had to grab this Zarface comic with a seven inch. It has four tracks on it. Um, really excited to hear some more Doom and Zarface stuff. I'm hoping that MF Doom is in this comic because that's the reason I really bought it, to see Doom doing some badass stuff in the comic book. At long last, Fish Billy Breathes is on vinyl for the first time ever. This is the best Fish album without a doubt. My roommate who has all these Fish posters, the reason I wanted to film this out here is because all of these posters are Fish, obsessed with Fish. He agrees this is the best album. I'm a casual fan and I think this is the best album. It has some of their best songs, Free, uh, Prince Caspian. It's just a really solid album front to back. And I'm really glad to finally own it on vinyl. And I have a numbered one because uh, the record store day one was numbered. 5085 out of, I believe, 7,000. Rage Against the Machine! This is Rage Against the Machine live at the Democratic National Convention 2000. The concert that got broken up by the cops because a riot broke out. This is just some of their best songs in a row. Bulls on Parade, Testify, Gorilla Radio, Sleep Now in the Fire, Freedom, and Killing in the Name. It's just like hit, 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 hit. Uh, I can't wait to hear this. This is gonna be a rowdy show and I'm really glad to own it on vinyl. And we were worried, Adam and I, that it would run out because on the board of Amoeba, they checked it off and it was out really early on, but we were lucky enough to have it just in time. I did it, I took the plunge. Jeff Buckley, live at Shanae. This is uh, one of his best live shows, never been on vinyl before. I think it had maybe an EP release that was a small version of this concert. The full concert is now on vinyl. He does a bunch of covers, original songs. He ends with Hallelujah, which is the best version of that song. Sorry, Leonard Cohen. Sorry, Rufus Wainwright. Jeff Buckley wins. This is a really beautifully done box set and I'm really excited to listen to this too. This might be a listen today as well. This was a last minute acquisition. Personal Computer by Doris Norton. I've never heard this before. I believe this came out in the 80s, yeah, 1984. And if you notice, there's an Apple logo because she was actually sponsored by Apple at the time, which is really interesting. And this is a really cool electronic experimental album that's synthy and just kind of all over the place. It almost feels like some inspiration for some modern vapor wave type stuff. 
but this is a really fun listen and the original album goes for triple digits, so I wanted to pick it up and dive further into it. A couple more seven inches for you. I got the Balmorea Chime Shone. This is uh, limited to a thousand, transparent gold vinyl with black swirls. That sounds really pretty. Let's take a look at that. It's like black smoke in an amber translucent. Really nice. Balmorea, if you don't know, I've talked about them before. Really good, modern classical, kind of folky, just really pretty mellow music, and I love all their stuff. This is uh, from the sessions of their latest album, and I, these songs are not on the album if, I'm, if I remember correctly, so excited to hear them. Got that Led Zeppelin, of course, everyone wanted it. It's the uh, Rock and Roll and Friends, different mixes. Uh, it comes with a built-in 45 adapter, which I thought was actually really cool and interesting. And it's on pretty yellow vinyl that matches the cover font uh, of the logos. So yeah, I'm excited to hear these mixes. Hopefully they sound as good, if not better than the originals. We'll see. Nostalgia got the better of me, guys. I did it. I picked up Sugar Ray Fly. I just want to fly. I just want to fly. And it's on this cool Coke bottle clear, sea foamy vinyl. And I guess I'm gonna spin this later and fly back into the 90s and get my nostalgia on. This one's super interesting. So this is the Linkin Park One More Light Live. I'm not a huge fan of their later albums, but this set list is a lot of their early stuff, which is what drew me to it. And it's the last stuff that Chester performed before he passed away. So this is a really powerful concert set and I'm really excited to hear this and go back to those songs that I love and maybe find new appreciation for the ones that are later in the career that I don't love. I also got a really low number on this too, number 270, really awesome. I, I love how Amoeba got all of these low numbers, really cool. And it is on colored vinyl. So it's supposed to be black and gold, but it's mostly gold with some black wisps still. Pretty nice, gold vinyl can be hit or miss sonically. Uh, let's hope that this is of the better persuasion than not. Finally, last but not least, I got that Run The Jewels box because I own the Run The Jewels albums and I need a place to put them. Really nice, it's this metal box, pretty sturdy. It has these embossed uh, Run The Jewels fists on both sides and the side has this red kind of foil text, which is cool. Let's open it up. Inside they have but I'm, one of the things I'm very excited for, a variant jacket for Run the Jewels 3, which I'm going to put my copy in because I only own the standard one, which features all these Marvel characters as a crossover. And uh, I believe that's Howard the Duck's fist on the back, I'm assuming. This is a really nice touch. I love the Marvel Run the Jewels crossovers they keep doing. Comes with a uh, slip mat, which is really neat, uh, really cool design. They're always known for their crazy uh, tour posters and whatnot. If you guys are sleeping on Run the Jewels still, I don't know what to tell you. So in here is a clear disc that just has two songs on it. Ooh, that's really sweet. So it's like a chain that's done in a spiral um, etched on it. It's just a really nice spiral chain. I guess it's a 36 inch chain if you guys are fans of Run the Jewels 1. Um, this has, oh it has, okay, it has Kill Your Masters and then Instrumental and Stay Gold, a remix, and then a, a, an instrumental of that remix. So this is just a random standalone. This box has room for Run the Jewels 1, 2, 3, and 4 when it comes out, hopefully soon. So this will be a beautiful addition to my box set shelf. All right, guys, that is my record store day haul. What I want you to do right now is go to the comments and leave me a comment of what you picked up, maybe the things that you just missed out on that you're bummed about. I wanna hear about your entire experience. So I just documented mine, it's time to hear about yours. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and as you know, more videos coming real soon.